guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I've got a fun little project for you and it's making these lovely little broomsticks um, now I know Halloween's coming up but they don't have to be for Halloween um, you can have them for Halloween but you can also put them into your um, little autumn journals you could pop a little leaf on there or little flowers on there um, I've also got if you had the um, Friday freebie that we did a couple of weeks ago this look at that doesn't that look lovely so it's a really lovely little autumn edition isn't it you could pop a little, tiny little pumpkin on there or something like that so I've got a couple of different sizes these ones are made out of little cocktail sticks these two are made out of just bits that I found in the garden so that's sort of like a bit of a twig and I think that was sort of like something that I was poking in with my plant to hold it up but you, you know you can use whatever you like just depending on what size um, little broomstick that you would like to use or like to make now the little diddy diddy ones are about two and a half inches which is probably about six centimeters and these ones that I've done are five inches which is about 13 centimeters so you know it all depends on how how big you want it so I'm going to pop those to the side like that um, and this is another bit of a twig out of the garden so it all depends you know what size or what you want to do I'm just going to break that off there like that so that's sort of like a standard size this one here is from a packet that I bought now this is the top it's just out of the local shop that I um, shop in and they were one euro 25 and I think you get 30 so that's four millimeters by 10 centimeters so they're really really lovely size um, perfect size and all I've done I've just colored these these were the stick color and these ones I have just um, inked up with just a little bit of acrylic ink which is the raw umber I just mixed some with a little bit of water in there and painted them so the little cocktail sticks that I've got, all I've got I, like this, I've just chopped off the little spiky end bit because you don't want the little spiky end bit, just like that. And then I've just got my little bit of ink and do that. So any little twiggy thing you've got, you might have some kebab sticks, little wooden kebab sticks or something like that. Or if you do polymer clay, you can make a polymer clay one. Um, all sorts and or as they are they're really simple you just take it and then again if you're making a nice one oh they would look lovely in a fairy journal wouldn't they you could actually paint this sort of pink or something pink and glittery oh wouldn't that be pretty so it doesn't have to be um, um, sort of like Halloweeny does it they can be used for all sorts um, it's funny because my son sent me a picture well, a few years ago now um, of a big broomstick like this that somebody made and they put dry flowers on this bit uh, but it was sort of like a, a standard size broom um, and they had it as decoration in the corner of their room and it had a big bunch of sort of dried flowers it was lovely really really lovely so you never know one day I might make one of those so we've got this so that's the base of our little stick the well the handle should we just pop those there now the other thing I'm using as the little sort of bristles uh, is some string now the rougher the string the better I've got this one and it's it's sort of um, too tidy if you know what I mean it's too smooth you can't sort of like wrinkle it up um, very well and you want those sort of like rough edges on there so I do have these two like this so what I am going to do let's just use let's use the darker one so it doesn't really matter what what color but what I'm going to do I'm just going to wrap this around actually I'm going to wrap it around a piece of card like this just so I can get some which are the right size and then just wrap it around this is probably about two inches I would have thought so we just need to wrap around probably I don't know 10 15 20 times depends how big you want to do we'll make a big one let's just do that that should be enough we can always add a little bit more 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take my, so I just pop a little clip there. I'm going to just sort of try and spread those out a little bit. There's lots of different ways. This isn't my idea. This is something that um, I've seen, oh, so I've looked at them a few couple of years on Pinterest, which I've seen. Um, I haven't seen any videos on them. Uh, well, not that I've really looked, but I'm sure there's probably lots out there. But I'm going to get some double-sided tape. I've also got double-sided tape and I'm going to use my glue gun as well. So mine's quite wide. So what I'm doing, I'm just folding it in half. And then I'm going to fold that in half again. Because I don't want it to be too wide. Okay. So, and then I'm just going to take that bit and stick it along the top of here like that just to sort of hold those together okay let's pull that off let's take these little bits oops if it will come off there just stick that over just so that we can hold these together like that I'm going to cut this end like that doesn't matter about the length really because you can just trim them off so look that's stuck together nicely and all as I'm going to do now they're stuck together is bend them over this way because I want that obviously doubled oops I'll just cut my finger ouch there we go okay so that's stuck together so that's our sort of broomy bit like that pop that to the side I'm going to take this one here and then what we want to do is just wrap that around like that, okay? And to do that, oh, I don't want to stick that with a sticky tape. I'm going to get a little bit of glue gun like this and pop just a bit of glue along there. Take this, pop that down just squidge it around just hold that on nice and tight just so it sticks like that perfect look at that looking like a little broom already isn't it I'll show you how to make the little diddy one in a minute because that's quite cute so I'm going to take another little piece of string let's just cut that off don't need that much but I'm going to just wrap that around just a few times nice and tight actually what I might do is I might use the lighter one just so there's a bit of a contrast just a little bit on this one I use some cotton on here um, which I would probably have used some embroidery thread would probably be a bit better so just wrap that round a couple of times i'm going to add a tiny bit of glue on there and then just wrap that round just like that hold that tight and then we can just cut these off at that doesn't it look broomy already i'm a little bit high but that's okay right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut these off a little bit just so we've got an end doesn't have to be tidy and then all i'm going to do is wrinkle those up into my hand like that just to get the ends all grungy do you know what I mean and unravel them it depends how much you want to unravel them um, but I just think that looks fab doesn't it that's so simple and again any size you can just make them any size you like like that and then you've got your lovely little broom so that's a nice sort of broom handle you could probably sand that down as well um, and make little 
dents out of it and things like that if you haven't got any um, old twigs but then get a little bit of darker um, ink or something like that and just pop it on there just to distress it a little bit like that but I just love them I think they're so cute and so easy and it's a fab fab little embellishment isn't it to pop into your journals and it's quite flat it's not going to be you can spread these out so it's not um, it's not big and bulky but look at this I think I'm going to stick this onto there doesn't that look lovely because I want them to look a little bit shabby I don't really want um, Halloween-y ones but look at that I just think that's so cute isn't it isn't that lovely you could probably pop a little bow you've got a little bit of pink ribbon I've got some little bits of this which is my lovely rose trim so I'm just wondering you'll probably pop that around there like that couldn't you and make them pretty I think I would have them pretty ones I think I'm going to put that on there actually let's cut that off here let's make pretty ones shall we should we have that well should we have it on this one I'm going to put it on this one I think so let's just pop it around here just like that now again if you didn't have any of this twine string you could use um, wool if you've got some brown wool well it doesn't have to be brown whatever color you like to use look at that that's so pretty isn't it doesn't that look lovely I think I'll probably put a little bow on there as well love them I like this one as it is I think right I'm going to show you how to make the little diddy ones because that's quite simple as well so we will take oh, I've got bits of glue everywhere take one of our little um, cocktail sticks we'll take some of our um, string now what I'm going to do on this one is just cut I don't want too much we'll just do it like this I think just roll a few bits around you can get a smaller bit of card if you wanted to I'm just going to do this around like that chop this off like this shall we bend this in half how big do we want I'm gonna just this is probably shall I measure it first my little cocktail stick is five centimeters or two inches and then I've just bent this or two inches so that's going to be five centimeters so I've just folded this over oops and how many have I got about ten about nine or ten so what I'm going to do actually is put a tiny tiny bit of glue through the middle just so that I can bend it over like that just squeeze that down like that and I'm going to take this and wrap it round so if you can you can do them all separately if you want to and put them on separately but if you do it like this they're done all in one go aren't they just squeeze that round don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be neat and tidy which is a lovely thing isn't it so let's squeeze that round now this one I'm going to get a little bit of cotton so this is the thin cotton that I have and it's really quite strong so you want quite a nice strong one just wrap it around just a few times like that again I would probably use um, some embroidery thread instead of cotton because cotton is very very thin let's just put oops my glue going to come out there we go bit of glue and then just keep wrapping around a few times like that 
just oh it's on there stuck in with that bit of glue probably a little bit too much there but that's okay cut the little threads off get to my bigger scissors and then just cut these little bits as that all cut off then we got our little broom like that put these up out the way then again I'm just going to rub this in the palm of my hand just to scrunch it up so that's another little diddy diddy one isn't it look at that and because I've got a little bit of glue there I'm going to just pop one of my little diddy flowers on there I think let's have this one with a oh, should we have two two is a little bit too much I'm going to have that one with a little bit of green on it pop that down pop a little bit of glue on well I'm going to have to make a little fairy journal or something to put these in aren't I look at that doesn't that just look the cutest? Just loving them. Oh, glue gun. Stuck everywhere. So guys, that is our beautiful little broomsticks. Now again, you can use it as um, a Halloween-y one, can't you? Look, I've got that little bit. I've got a little crystal on there. So again, you can put spiders or crystals or whatever you like on them, like that. I'm not going to stick that on because I'm not going to keep that on that one. But look, aren't they just so cute? Loving these. Absolutely loving the little diddy ones. They're beautiful. And I think, probably, actually, I've got my big journal here. My Folks of the Forest journal. Look at that. Wouldn't that look cute on there, actually? probably don't even need one with anything on it but you have a little broom next to it that would look lovely wouldn't it I might do that so there we go guys I hope you'll give it a go super simple little bit of a twig go and have a look in your garden or if you're out having a walk pick up a few little twigs and then get some really inexpensive um, twine like this or string or something and again you can use wool um as well there's probably you'll probably find lots of other things that you can use as well so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a lovely lovely rest of the day and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye